We decide when and where we will go. Right here, this team, right now, every step. Splashes it through. Oh, what a big shot. Wear them down with our effort. Wear them down with the consistency of it. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank and by UVA Health System and by GEICO and by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, Mark, having known me through camp, gave me the chance to, to be on the team and that had been my dream as well. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Talia McCall from the women's basketball team. We got some great stories from Virginia Athletics. First, we'll take a look at men's basketball, a big win over the NC State Wolfpack. and the athleticism of NC State was, was um, more than we've seen all year. And, and you could see that in the first half, how quick those guys could get to the rim. Cavaliers try to get some points here. Joe Harris goes baseline, floats it off the window and good. Nice play by Joe Harris as he drove right past a couple defenders for a second bucket of the game. important game for us uh, you know to get a, a, a win over a quality team like that in a, in a great environment where the fans are just you know into it from the very beginning uh, you know it's huge for the program and for the team going forward. Pass Mitchell finds the opening and he throws it down with a top of Hawks jam and a foul. Take that. Now to Jesperson on the far way right. He sends down low spinning underneath. Mitchell powers it up and in. Akeel's got four points to start the second half. Leslie playing it despite an illness here tonight. Here's a nice beat underneath to Toby, who throws it down with a foul, and he cuts away. Holler into his teammates. This time, he saw Mike Toby sit off of a three-pointer from Harris. is up and good as the junior bombs away from the top of the arc. He's made it a one-point game. You know, I thought we had a, a good matchup with Joe when Warren was on him, and Joe took advantage of that. Next to Richard Howell, he takes the inside pass. Throws it on the left hand on a jump roll. What a job by Mike. Got terrific touch. I think his length bothered, uh, maybe it bothered uh, Howell some. But Mike's continuing to improve, and again, he's certainly a threat on the blocks. And I love it that he had seven rebounds. Uh, to see three offensive rebounds and four defensive rebounds, that's a, a good step. And um, again, he's had, he's put together three real nice games. Far away right to Anderson. Anderson dribbles, attacks down the baseline, puts up a shot in the crowd, and he knocks it down. Now Leslie with the ball again. 
wants to drive again. He lost it. He backed right over Nolte and picked up the offensive foul. 3 of 14 for the nation's number 16 ranked three-point shooting team. Here's Wood missing a three-pointer, but Al gets the rebound and lays it in up close. John Tell Evans down to Mitchell. Mitchell's defended by Vandenberg. Spinning around on Vandenberg. He puts up the top trouble off of the skin move and lays it in up close. We're back even. It's 42 points apiece. Slam dunk. 7.50 to play now. Virginia trailing by five again. Got to be careful now. Had a chance to get that lead. Could not take advantage. The offense has gone into a low. Nolte launches up a three. And this time he connects. Evan Nolte's first bucket of the game comes in a big moment. It's 47 45 NC State. Evans just had the ball taken away by Warren. Warren goes the other way. Has a shot. Rejected from the other side by Justin Anderson. Now Mitchell comes away with a loose ball. What a job. Seeing the opening, attacking to the lane. He has the replay layup lay in off the window. Oh, Joe Harris got the friendly wall there. And Virginia back down in front by three. Evans inside of four minutes to go. Mitchell left alone. Elevates it. Hits from 19 feet away on the left wing. Akeel Mitchell says, you don't guard me, I'm going to make you pay. Virginia back ahead by two for six games. Virginia and ACC play is not allowed. To score over 60 points. Here's a turnover. Justin battled um, against Leslie. You know, he just his physicality showed, and that was important. Dribbles near the midcourt strike, defended by Purvis. Now he's right in front of us. He drives past Purvis, weaving his way through defenders. Cavaliers need to get something going. There's a whistle of a foul. One and one for John Tell Evans. Those those last free throws are, are are done with. You know, it's time to focus on these two because these two are important. You know, I went to the line, took a deep breath. Did my, my usual routine and just followed through, and it was nothing but net. And then the second one, it bounced in because I followed through, shoot his touch. Good for him to step up and make those shots, uh, make those free throws. That was significant. It's Harris Mitchell, Anderson, Jesperson, and Evans. Three pointer from Wood, off balance, no good from the near corner. This one's over. The final horn sounds in Virginia. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. Women's basketball traveled to Winston-Salem to take on Wake Forest last weekend. Here are the highlights of the win over Demon Deacons. You gotta start setting the tone, you know? Set the tone, and set the tone on somebody else's home floor, right? Just because we set it at home doesn't mean we can't do it here, too. Set the tone, set it early. Okay, here we go. Gets it off the back rim, no good. Williams pulls down the rebound. Chelsea Douglas quickly back the other way. On the drive, right hand floater, and she'll get the friendly roll. Crosby goes to the dribble, breaks through, kicks out for Franklin for three from the far wing right, and she got it. Here's Virginia. Crosby to the corner, Wolf puts up a three, and she nailed it. Nothing but net for Kelsey Wolf. We had some good inside, inside out action. We, I thought we were composed when they switched from their man to their zone. Um, so I just thought we were really composed in that first part of the game. Kelsey Wolf pump fakes, dribbles baseline, cross court pass to Tara Franklin. Lines it up for three, too strong off the back rim, but a Mobio there for the offensive rebound. Hand off to Franklin, spinning around, shooting, and it drops. Frankie was just really composed on both ends of the floor, and she dictated on the defensive end. I mean, she really knew that we had to limit um, touches on 22 and 5, and I thought she did a great job with that. I thought Chani did a great job with that. Here's Boykin in transition. Looks for right on the dump pass. Stolen away by Egbu. Saved in for a Tara Franklin. Franklin dribbles past Michaela Walker. Now driving all the way. Pulls up. Knocks it down. I don't know what it is. I feel young again, like a freshman. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'm just riding it out and just got to keep being aggressive. Now on the dribble, kicks it out for Egwood, who finds Faith Randolph. Right hand pull up at the elbow, knocks it down. Kicks top of the key for Randolph. Egwood going to work on Sandra Garcia. Up and under move with the left hand. Pretty looking move from Simone Egwu. 4.35 remaining first half, Cavaliers by three. Crosby wants a three, banks it off the top of the glass, and it falls. 
we know that we have heavy roles as guards. We try to, you know, just stay poised and just try to listen to what the coaches have to say and do what we have to do to get the win. Dribbling between her legs, waits for the high screen from Sandra Garcia, uses it, pulls up on the far elbow, back of the rim and drops. Wake's first basket in about seven minutes. To the elbow, McCall, left hand dribble. Up and under move with the right hand off the glass. Nice move inside. Almost stolen away by Chelsea Douglas. Here's Kelsey Wolf. One dribble, looks at a three, kicks to the corner for Franklin. Nothing but net. A tear of Franklin continues to roll for Virginia. Sarah Beth hasn't played a lot of minutes, so for her to get in and get the, get some good quality minutes to give when T got in foul trouble really helped us. Far wing left. Wolf another three. Buries it. China elects to pass it off for Wolf, who draws a double team as she falls down, finds McCall, bounce pass for Egwu. Layup is good. I was like really proud of him for how we played the first 34 minutes of the game. And we came out and we were so composed and, and everything was going our way. And then, um, you know, last six minutes of the game, Jen gets the technical, gets her team fired up. And, you know, we don't keep our heads about that. And, you know, a team's going to ramp that up, and they did. Inside for Hamby, kicks out of the corner. Asia Williams wants a three, nothing but net. We talk about rebounding and second chance points, and uh, I think we fall, fell short there in that last six minutes, and it put us in a pressure cooker situation. We just really have to crack down on the little things. We gave them a lot of offensive boards. We stay converted into points, and that really pulled them back into the game. The senior displaying some leadership, dribbling left side. Entry pass, good look. Simone Eglou up with the left hand off the glass. Pretty looking layup. Boykin, right hand dribble, kicks out for Williams, launches up a three, got it. It's down to a single-digit lead for the Hoos. The five-foot-five point guard gives for Asia Williams. Dribble, stops, puts up the three, off the back rim, and good. Just a five-point lead for Virginia. Atara Franklin's got the basketball. She's fouled. Frankie, I commend her for having that. Um, she, was, she was poised throughout the whole game. And when I lose my head like that, she's the one that um, the team leans on because she, she is also a captain, also a leader. Virginia trying to hold on. McCall, second free throw, no good. Egwu battles for the rebound. McCall has it, gives it out to Franklin with three seconds left. Wolf has it over to Crosby, and they're going to let this one run out. The Cavaliers come away with the win. Virginia 69, Wake Forest 64. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. The swimming career of Nick Monte de Oca has spanned from walk-on to Olympic trials qualifier. We recently caught up with the talented senior. I started swimming with Summer League when I was five and then year-round a couple years after that. Pretty small and rural place. Um, swimming isn't huge there, I guess. There's a, not an indoor pool in the whole county. That's what it was like growing up there. I came to swim camp here a few times when I was, I think, uh, 10 and 11 or 11 and 12, and I loved the program then and loved the coaches. Mark and Doak were both swim camp coaches when I came there, so I got to know them through that, and then since then I had always wanted to come and swim here and be a part of this awesome program. When I was being recruited, I wasn't nearly as fast as uh, other recruits, but Mark, having known me through camp, gave me the chance to, to be on the team, and that had been my dream and goal, so I was really thankful for that. When I came, I wasn't nearly as fast as the other recruits, and I, I knew that for the significant first part of my time here that I probably wouldn't be able to swim in all the meets or be a contributor to the team point-wise. I really looked up to all the upperclassmen in different ways, um, but in the, in the pool, Scott, Robson and Matt McLean were here for two of my years and then McLean is here again training and seeing what he does every day is just uh, totally inspiring. Nick Montez de Oca. He's a senior walk-on who has w did nothing other than work and work harder and work harder yet again through his first couple of years. He hasn't enjoyed success at the highest level until now. This could be one of those breakthrough moments in an athletic career, and that's his first college win ever. And it was in a, a huge race against some tremendous swimmers. He was, he was spectacular in the breaststroke. I'm so proud of him and proud of what he did and how hard he's worked to become now a really, really strong Division I swimming athlete from, from a 
first year walk on and he's done it with hard work, he's done it with positive attitude um, and now he carries the confidence of a winner which is great. It's always the last last race of the dual meet which is uh, really cool because everyone who's in it it's, has already swam two or three events that meet and it's a really great opportunity to go out and show how much heart you have at the end of an entire meet like that. Last event of the meet, last event of Carolina, last chance ever to race Carolina in dual meet. Um, it gave me a lot of excitement and uh, a little bit of nerves, but I really just wanted to take advantage of that last opportunity. Out of uh, anything that I've ever experienced, the team here, being around the swimmers and the coaches, has shaped me as much as, or more than anything. It's teaching me to be persistent and be able to maintain constant determination and motivation because no matter how long it takes or how much you have to go through, the end result is always going to be worth it. The men's tennis team opened 2013 play at the Boar's Head Sports Club last weekend. The team advanced to the ITA National Indoor Championships for the ninth consecutive year by defeating Arkansas. Here's a recap. venue at the Boyd Tinsley courts with the, the, the best fans in college tennis and then have the band out here. It's a, it's a great atmosphere. I don't think there's anything better in college tennis. Damajan and Jenkins and, and you know those guys are, are veterans and, and they're certainly playing like it. And Max Sison has been a, a, a along with Ryan Chain has really been a force for us as freshmen already. So it's impressive. Once you play for teammates, it's uh, the pressure's ratcheted up. So from the fall to the spring, I definitely feel it. And um, I think everybody feels it and it drives us to, uh, to perform better. It's beneficial that you keep your mind focused on something to improve on so you're not, you know, staying stagnant. I thought it was a really successful weekend for Mitchell Frank considering the amount of time he's been off, hasn't played a competitive match since July, he's just such a natural competitor and, and had a great weekend. All in all, pr pretty good day, you know, beating Arkansas 6-1, a uh, good SEC team and, and now on the national indoors in Seattle. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. The football team has been hard at work this offseason under the watchful eye of strength and conditioning coach Evan Marcus. Here's an all-access look at their workouts. The 2013 Cavaliers, fellas, this year's team, okay? I honestly feel that they'll be defined by your decisions and our consequences. Our success will be defined by these two words. The decisions we make and the consequences of those decisions, fellas. What we have to do as a team is make sure these are really good so that these become really good and we become successful. Linemen, we're gonna set a mentality, fellas. This is a grind. That's what it's designed for. I want this team to start being identified by their offensive and defensive line. You guys got to start setting the pace, and I'm going to make sure you guys get the right mindset to do it. We're not going to miss on third and one, fourth and one. No more. No more. That's never going to happen. And it's going to start right now.
be a technician. Being fast, being explosive, being athletic. Okay, I want you to break it down, get better. Break it down. <coughs> Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. We have some great home games this week, so come out and support the Cavaliers. Women's basketball hosts Georgia Tech Sunday afternoon. Men's basketball returns to JPJ Thursday to face off against Clemson. And women's tennis hosts the ITA national team indoors at Boar's Head Sports Club next weekend. We'll be back next week with more great stories and highlights from Virginia athletics. I am Tulane McCall, and until next time, go Hoos. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank. In banking, there's good, better, and stellar. Visit Stellar One Bank today to see the difference. And by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. And by GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation.